Meantime, it was a busy day locally. We started the morning over to Waihe High School, where 11 student athletes were honored in front of family and friends. Six players off the defending 5A state championship baseball team inked letters of intent today, including Baylor Haylett and Nick McDaniel, who will remain teammates at Yakima Valley Community College. From the diamond to the gridiron, Zach Nyland signed with Montana State, and Carson Rasmussen accepted a scholarship from his hometown team, the Boise State Broncos. The standout O-linemen say this is all a dream come true. I've gone to a couple of football, uh, Boise State football games as a kid, and pretty awesome. Like you look up to those players. I remember getting an autograph from one of them when I was little, and it's just a pretty cool experience to be in this position now as I'm older. It feels really amazing, you know, getting the chance to go D1. I mean, not a lot of people are able to do that, so just having the chance to do that is super cool. Up next, we take the short 10-minute drive over to Meridian High. Over the last four years, the Warriors football program has gone from the bottom of the SIC to the top of the state, and this group of guys is a big reason why. Safety Ethan Beard will play at uh, Idaho, while linebackers Ryan Corder and Nathan Reynolds will take their talents to Pocatello to play for new Bengals head coach Cody Hawkins. And offensive lineman Bridger Bevins, he's going to be a walk-on at Boise State. After getting overlooked for most of their careers, this group of guys is eager for the opportunity that lie ahead. I had a lot of contact with a bunch of coaches, but I feel like a lot of coaches just waited to offer me, and then I finally got the chance with the new Idaho State staff to go on my official visit, and I loved it there. It is awesome, man. I mean, I can't express how grateful I am for the opportunity and how just amazing their facilities, the whole program is as a whole, and I'm so grateful to be a part of that culture, and I'm ready, uh, ready to work hard. Speaking of football signees, Rocky Mountain has a haul this year, likely a baker's dozen. Tight end C.J. Jacobson is going to play at Utah. Jackson Fulmer is going to the Big 12, where he's going to play at Kansas State. And Troy Wilkie is ready to bet on himself as a walk-on at Boise State. I just felt like I could do like a little bit more than, or way more honestly than what I what I had at the time. I felt that I'm like, like I just kind of wanted to bet on myself and like go big to where I think I belong. Up next, we head over to Eagle High. Today, the Mustangs celebrated 20 athletes from nine different sports. That group includes future Idaho State football players Ian Duarte and Carl Renner, along with Car Carter Davis, who's going to be a walk-on at Stanford. In addition, Grace Hine is going to be a rower at The Ohio State University, while wrestler, wrestler Tanner Frothlinger is going to go to the Big Ten and compete at Nebraska. I just think about like back when I was a little kid and looking back and I would have never thought I would get there and it, it's exciting for me now to like finally accomplish one of my dreams and like one of my goals in wrestling. It just feels amazing. I'm so lucky to have this opportunity academically and athletically. Go Bucks! <laughs> We wrapped up the lunch hour over at Timberline High School. Four more seniors were honored today. 15 total, by the way, in this graduating class will move on to play college sports. The list does include, though, soccer champion Zane Davis, or yeah, Zane Davis, as well as Ben Anderson. Both of those guys are headed to the College of Idaho. And Jake Anderson, who will compete at Seattle Pacific, as well as A.J. LeBeau, who is headed to play basketball at Washington State. I'm super excited. Like, I don't have any words because I'm just super excited and I want to thank everyone that supported me. I feel like I've worked hard. Um, I've had coaches and teammates uplifting me when, you know, times get hard if they believe in me. So I don't think I could have done it without them. So I'm excited to play at the next level for sure. A busy, busy day. We're going to hear from some of the athletes over at BK tonight on the News at 10. We have full extended raw interviews posted for you right now at KTV.com. In the meantime, the News at 6 will be right back.